Hello and welcome to Charter Local Edition Northwest. I'm Dana Cowley and today we're in beautiful Wenatchee. We have Linda Hagland. She is the director of the Wenatchee Downtown Association. Linda, thank you so much for joining us thank today. Thank you for having me today. We really appreciate it. Now, tell us what Main Street means to you. Well, Main Street actually was a movement that started in the 70s when small communities like ours saw a lot of those businesses moving to shopping malls. Oh boy, and it happened in the bigger towns too. I grew up in Salt Lake and I remember that. Absolutely, so you had these great downtowns, historic, usually older buildings, and it was the heart of the community and there were so many vacancies. Yeah. So how I explain the Main Street movement is new business in old buildings. Uh -huh. It preserves and honors those historic legacies of these buildings and the stories they tell because they all have stories. Growing up in Wenatchee, I can tell you pretty much what was in all those buildings as I grew up because downtown is all we had. And so it preserves that historic relevance, but it's also about economic development. The sole proprietor, somebody moving into downtown in those vacant spaces, fulfilling a dream, and bringing that economic vibrancy back to those old buildings that are downtowns. And that's the Main Street movement. And you have some quality with the businesses you have downtown. Which we are is very fortunate. So nice. It is so fortunate. Um, I am one of 13 Main Street distinction communities in the state of Washington that are both state and nationally certified. Uh -huh. And we carry that with pride. And we carry that with pride for our businesses too. We have businesses in our downtown that have been there a very long time. Mm -hmm. And then we have brand new businesses. So we have, I believe, a good mix of the old sole proprietor as far as historic what this downtown means, and then that new sole proprietor. It's very fun in our downtown right now. Well, and speaking of the new ones, you have some young people, they're bringing some technology, so what do you see coming on the horizon in your future? Well, what's been really fun for us is, um, I, I consider myself a little bit old school, so <laughs> these young sole proprietors are teaching us social media. <laughs> and well, how we all to could use a lesson on How that. to navigate <laughs> social media. They're also teaching us and bringing a different demographic into downtown town and they're teaching us how to talk to people so where do I see us going in the future the future is the challenge of how do you how do we keep our downtown vibrant it is a lot about who is there and the, the things that they offer for us in downtown um, our future as I see it is connecting to our waterfront oh, we're in the process beautiful. of a waterfront development right now mm -hmm. and so how do we remain relevant with a developing waterfront the really exciting thing I think all of these bring us is the future of our downtown, which is upstairs. Mm -hmm. There are thousands of square footage in our upstairs in those buildings mm -hmm. that right now are not usable uh. due to um, ADA requirements. So it will take some investment, but people want to live in downtown. Mm -hmm. They want to work, they want to shop, they want to play, and they want to enjoy downtown. And that's really as I see our future going. Well, we just have 30 seconds left. Okay. What do you feel your association's greatest strength is? I think our greatest strength is that we're there. Our mission is to strengthen and enrich the downtown experience. And we try to provide that experience for you to come downtown, for anybody to enjoy us, to the things that we do are usually free and family friendly, and just enjoy and embrace your downtown. And I think we're really good at trying to do that in our community. Linda, thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you for watching. This is Charter Local Edition Northwest.